Hi, this is Peter from the DJ Podcast. In this video, we're going to be looking at the brand new iOS app called Cross DJ for iPhone. Probably familiar with Cross DJ as a desktop application, which we've done some video tutorials on. You may also be aware that Cross DJ is available as an iPad app. Well, now they have a Cross DJ for iPhone and iPod Touch version that is specifically made for the smaller screen size. When you first load the app, you're going to see some familiar controls. You've got two records, crossfader, and some transport controls. And if you have used any of the other iOS DJing apps like DJ or DJ Player, you're probably familiar with how the setup on these types of apps go. So let's start by first loading a song. So to load a song, you want to press the eject looking button up on the top, and then select from one of the songs on your iPhone or iPod. Now that we have a track loaded up on the top, you'll see that there is a waveform display as well as some basic information about the track. One of the cool things about using a touchscreen device is that you can actually interact with the virtual records and do scratching and cueing like you would on a platter based controller or piece of hardware. One of the aspects of Cross DJ for iPhone that really sets it apart from all the others is the way that it uses sliding panels. So right when you open the app, there aren't a lot of controls that clutter the screen. Most things are brought in and out using these sliding panels. So let's take a look at the different ones going from left to right. So first we have the pitch faders, and those will swing out and you'll have the two pitch faders for each deck. Then take those away. Of the three center buttons, the first one is loops and cues. So we'll press on that, and you'll see that we have the ability to do loops on both of the tracks. We can also activate slip mode to have a rolling loop. When we want to go to the cues, we simply press this button with the flag icon, and here we're presented with six hot cues. We can always switch back to loops by pressing on the circle button. To get rid of those, we can simply press the loop and cue button again. Moving on, we've got mix, so we'll press that, and here we are presented with two channel faders as well as a three band EQ. One thing that's nice is that they chose to go with faders instead of knobs for the EQ, because faders are really a lot easier to use on a small touchscreen device like the iPod Touch or iPhone than using a knob. Finally, we've got effects, which will bring in the effects. From here, we can choose which effect we would like by pressing one of these buttons and selecting them. You'll notice that some of them require an upgrade to a paid version of the app if you want to use all of them. But there's a couple you can choose from, and of course, you use your finger to control the effects. So we get out of the effects, and now we are back to the main screen. Finally, we have the plus button on the right. By pressing on the plus button, you will access some of the gain settings, as well as the options for the app. You can also upgrade to a paid version, which gives you more effects and more options. So that is an overview of the Cross DJ for iPhone app. You'll notice that there are a lot of similarities between the iOS app and the desktop software. So if you're used to one, you can easily get used to the other. One of the best things about Cross DJ for iPhone is that it is free to download on the App Store. So go ahead and check it out on the App Store by clicking on the link below. For more videos on Mixvibes Cross DJ, check us out at youtube.com slash thedjpodcast or thedjpodcast.com.